indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. I, yes, yeah. please keep an eye on me. <laughs> I was hoping we would have a short agenda tonight. smallest project I've ever presented to a historic review board. Yeah. For the audience? Uh, <laughs> so, people can view it. so uh, this is a very small project. It's a small mudroom addition and a storage shed. Um, and, and I was just saying, I think it's the smallest one I've probably ever had to present. But uh, it's a Victorian um, uh, on Oak Lane, and uh, we're just adding this little piece. Oh, no. Do you have that package? Okay. So we're just adding this little piece of an addition. That's the mud room, and then this little piece here is the storage shed off of it. And so this is the existing, and then this is the addition, and that's the one side elevation. Yes, if you have the um, site plan, you can see the back corner. No, it actually can't be seen from the street, but it can be seen from the neighbor. So this is the, the little corner right here, and this is the street. We're going to match this. There's an existing window here, and then we're going to match it with a new window, and we'll just match all the detailing and the siding. And then the rear elevation is the storage shed. That's this sloped piece off the back here. And we're wrapping this roof all the way around, and then it'll die into the side of an existing roof. And then we did add three skylights into that new roof so we can keep enough light coming into the existing space. The existing space has a lot of nice light. We didn't want to lose that. And usually I'm looking to try and make complexity when I'm dealing with Victorian homes. This is the first time I think I've had to try and simplify. There's a lot of roof lines going on from a previous renovation. So there's a lot of kind of complexity going on over here. So I thought it was time to maybe clean it up a bit. Yeah, this, um, you can't see this uh, addition in the mud room from the street level. It's, it's pretty much uh, concealed. Yes. So it's uh, a very positive thing. Also, this particular type of house um, was built like circa 1885, 1889 ish. Yeah. And all of, I think our, uh, my client found the listing for how many? $7,000? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, that's what I was just going to say. It's um, a Bruin Lodge. Um, a type of design uh, of the house from an, an architect, uh, the Price Brothers. Right. So it was like a standard type of cottage at the time when um, Wayne was a vacation spot in that regard. So there's like a few of them there, I think, on that street too. Mm -hmm. yep. I think so. there are four or five of them on that street alone. Okay. All right. Um, that's the only comment that I had. Thank you. Thanks. Could I have a motion to approve a certificate of appropriateness. <laughs> you did that with such a nice straight face. I'm back at Bend, a certificate of appropriateness. Thank you. I second. Uh, all those in favor? Okay, passes unanimously. Thank you. We make 
I feel badly bringing you in. <laughs> oh, sometimes you don't want to be there. No, that's true. Oh, no, I know. I know. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. What was the exact building date of the exit? Do you know? We do actually look things up. <laughs> right, right. Well, and it all starts to blend at certain points. I, I use the term inspired. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you for uh, thank you for your thoughtfulness in making sure it blends in with what the rest of the house looks like. Uh, we'll now move on to uh, the order of old business, which is my report on the activities for the new harb ordinance. Uh, we sort of took a hiatus from acting uh, on the update of the harb ordinance given the recomposition of the Board of Commissioners, but after Election Day we plan to pick it up again. We're also planning to uh, have a meeting with township officials to develop a protocol for the notification program. I got tired of waiting to hear from them, so I'm asking them again for a meeting. And that's where we are with the ordinance update. If you have any questions, you can email me or let me know what your thoughts are. Thank you. 